The Midas Vault 3. That's what it's called. It's the sequel to The Midas Vault 2. Now, The Midas Vault 3 is escapable, but don't click off the video yet. Not yet. Let me explain why. So, you could just break out, right? But it takes like seven hours to break out. And no one wants to be punching obsidian for seven hours, okay? But the real feature of this prison is that if you have admin commands, you still can't break out unless you wait seven hours and break a piece of obsidian. Then you could use commands and escape. Now, even with commands, you might be thinking, well, you can just TP out. And this uses no command blocks, no mods, totally vanilla Minecraft. Doesn't even use any like commands or anything like uh, TP to yourself forever. You know, nothing like that, no. All you need is a little, this cell. And I'll show you what the cell is at the end of the video. Um, so this is the Midas Vault 3. It's much smaller, right? Because it doesn't need to be large. It doesn't need to be inescapable, right? So to get in, you just go through these this little staircase, pretty normal stuff. And there's a door here, the prisoner would go through here, and they'd set the spell on the bed, and then this piston would retract from the guards, and they would fall into lava and die, of course. And there's a ton of Elder Guardians making sounds. Alright, so if I... But there's like a system. So if I pull this level, right, if they were to die, they'd just go through here and into the main cell, which, are, which is right over there. Alright, and don't mind that sign block there, I'll show you what that's for in a moment. But if the level's like this, you'll spawn over there. And if I press this button, you spawn over here using an enderpole stasis chamber. Don't mind all my junk. Throw an enderpole in, jump down, slime blocks, and then there's a little passageway which is over there. That's where they spawn. There's another bed trap here, right? They suffocate here, right? Of course. Normal stuff. Then they go over here, right? Down here. They would set the spawn in another bed right there, and then the guard would legitimately just kill them. Those they have nothing, they can't even fight back, that you just kill them. Then over here, <laughs> they'd spawn again. There's so many bed traps, you know, and you'll see why in a moment. And they go through here, they set the spawn in the bed, and they die from lava. Yeah. Now, over here, they go back through, pretty normal stuff. You press this button, right? This activates the lava. You can see it right over there. That'll kill it. Um, what does this button do? Oh, yeah, um, and then you pull this level, they'd go through, they'd, they'd be free and go into the main cell, um, and then you press this button, and they're in, right? And then there's an enderpole stasis chamber here as well. Right, you jump down, that's why the slime block was here. Now, the reason why there's no slime blocks is because the main cell is another portal. Now, as you can see, nether portals is usually the main way to get inside the prison, right? So if I were to go into... No. If I went to survival, I would have died. Or I would have been stuck in here because I have admin commands. But let's say I go through, right? And then I just go back through. Now in the main cell. It's pretty... Um, nether portals are really loud. And uh, it's those Elder Guardians everywhere. Now, the reason why this is the main cell is because... Do you hear that? I cannot, I can't open my inventory, I can't, so you can test this out for yourself. When you're inside a nether portal, you cannot open your inventory, you can't open cheats, you can't open anything. The only way to break out is if you have a water bucket. And if you have a water bucket, like, <laughs> the, I've made sure there's no water in the prison. Lava buckets would work, but the only lava is hidden, so you can't get it. It's behind that um, little thing. Um, <laughs> although it's not very exciting to be in here, it's pretty boring in fact. It's, it's, it, you can't break out. Even if you have commands, you still can't break out. The only way to get out is if you're in creative mode. Like, right now, with all the stuff I have in my inventory, I found survive mode, I could try and endo pull out. But, you can test this yourself. It doesn't work. And this is the only way to break out. Now, the walls are thin, and this is the main prison. There's only a one layer wall here. <laughs> but, it's, the main prison itself, I would go in spectator mode. The main cell is just these nether portals, then those Elder Guardians to make it so that you can't just break out <laughs> super fast, you know? But it's so easy to just, like, get trapped. Actually, while making this, <laughs> I got trapped in here and I had to call someone for help. Oh, I almost went to survive mode, then I would have been stuck forever. And if I even went back through, and there's no way to escape. The only, and even, this says there's no bed trap, you could kill yourself and escape. 
right? But how are you gonna kill yourself and heal? There's no, like, way to die. And when you're inside of another portal, when you go back through, I learned that you actually cannot go back through. Like so. See, I can't go back through. It's not letting me. The only way to escape is if you're a water bucket or a lava bucket. I just said that. But it's so secure. Like, it could- it takes like seven hours to wake out. See, if I go into survival mode, now I would go through the portal, right? I just add that little nook there so I could actually escape. <laughs> Otherwise, it's- I would have had to break seven hours worth of stuff. But see, like, I can break the obsidian, but... <laughs> it, <laughs> it's stupid. It's actually just stupid. That's- Oh, I went back to it. But it's, it's just stupid. It, I mean, the prison itself is small. It's minuscule. It's weak, and it's easy to break in and out. But <laughs> you can't break out us even using admin commands. That's what's. I know this video said inescapable Minecraft prison, but that's just so you would click on it. If it said escapable Minecraft prison, you really wouldn't have clicked on this video. But you learned something today, didn't you? Nether portals don't let you do admin commands. It's it's great. It's actually legitimately amazing. It's I learned this myself actually, and it was <laughs> it was funny when I was making this. I got stuck in the portal. Oh, memories. So sad actually. But yeah, um, and the only way to escape is through water buckets and lava. And there, since there's like five different bed traps, I made sure that you will never have lava. Or waddle. And since there's all those bed traps back there, I mean, you could just let them through heal, right? And that's if they're not an admin. If they're an admin and they actually need to be secured, yeah. If you're in creative mode, you can escape, but if the admin's in survive mode and you have to, you have to trick them, okay? That's how it works. You gotta trick the admin, like, like, come on inside! It's my new house! Now take off your shoes and put everything you own into this chest, and then say, spawn these bunches of beds! Yes! Now come on inside! Go through the nether portal! No! This isn't a prison! This is your new free hotel! Like, the, you just have to trick them. Um, but... Only do it to bad admins, not the good ones. Like, don't do it to a mod or something that's done nothing wrong. And then you're like, come on inside, it's safe! And then the moderator's like, oh wait, I'm trapped for all of infin infinity now. Can you please let me free? <laughs> you know. But yes, this is the Minus Tau 3. It's the sequel to the Minus Tau 2, which you guys seem to enjoy. Thank you so much for the subscribers. It helps out a ton. And I hope you enjoy. This ad this prison is, like, you can't escape it if you're an admin, okay? Like, it takes seven hours to escape. <laughs> so, since all the mine fatigue and you break out through obsidian, so... I think it's a pretty nice place, to be honest. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to subscribe, leave a like. And if you want to see more like this, like the video. It really helps. And, uh, wow. I look massive. This is what perspective does, guys. <laughs> <laughs>Wow, that actually looks amazing. I actually look massive compared to the- Okay, I should probably start, stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye. And, as normal, good bye. Oh my gosh! It seems like we've discovered a wild subscribe button. Make sure to press it down below and make it gray.